Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, and I'm up here in the Colorado Rocky Mountains at, C at Clear Creek Reservoir. I've got Roscoe with me and my good, good friend, Diana. And <laughs> if you don't know, we have a channel called Cooking Cronies and uh, where we share recipes. And I've talked about that here before, but we always like to just, I like to have you guys go over and check out that channel because it has nothing but cooking. So, um, we do all cook, but we have other things too. Yeah, we and it's not just the recipe, but we're teaching you different techniques. Yeah, yeah. And Diana really is the brains behind the cooking. <laughs> and the hands behind the cooking. <laughs> I don't know about the, the brains. brains. Yeah, she she's really the she spearheads the cooking. And then and I I do as well, but she's she's the boss in the kitchen. So. <laughs> but yeah, so we're up here and um, I'm gonna give you guys some shots of uh, so do go check out Cooking Cronies. I'm going to put the link in the description. And then we have hummingbirds. You know, guys know I love hummingbirds. And we have our hummingbird feeders up. And um, and then, Diana, share what you were talking about, how to attract the hummingbird. Sure, sure. I read the recipe. Now, our recipe for the hummingbird uh, serum or juice or whatever you want to call it is on our Cooking Cronies mm -hmm. channel. But they say if you want to attract more hummingbirds or attract hummingbirds to your yard is to get the red or orange caution tape and just have streamers because that um, is what the birds, they can see that reflection and they'll really um, come into your yard. So when I go home this weekend, I'm, I only have a few hummingbirds. So I'm going to see if that really works, but mm -hmm. I got to get some of that tape. Yeah, that's a good idea. And um, we have a red awning that we put up here um, that really attracts hummingbirds when we camp. Right. And um, your awning and our truck. And your truck. <laughs> yeah, they have a red truck. We have a red awning. And then we have. Um, oh, no. oh, and then the the sugar water. <clears throat> um, we always just make our own sugar water. And you want to give that recipe? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, they can find it on our channel. But it's just. Um, this time of year it's one cup of water to a quarter a cup of sugar now when they're first migrating in you want to double the sugar really because they need that extra um, energy so you want to do like one cup of water to a half a cup of sugar or you know um, your birds will let you know if they like it or not they'll stick around or they won't but uh, i normally do that early in the season and mm -hmm. i I spike it up with more sugar. Yeah, I do that too. I boost to about a third uh, cup. Like, yeah, like I'll do four cups of water and so regularly four cups of water to one cup of sugar. And then during the season, I'll do three cups of water uh, to, to one cup of sugar. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we boost it up. They need that energy because mm -hmm. they're flying in. They're, they're flying from a long way off. Yeah. 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 So yeah and and they love it uh they're just they're just swarming around here and fighting each other for this sugar water <laughs> that we have and it's so fun to watch and i'm yeah. sure you can hear them yeah plus this is the uh, this is where they come to breed so they're having a little fun out here it's interesting to watch them in in their glory <laughs> <laughs> you've never seen a hummingbird um mate it's yeah. quite the feat <laughs> yeah so we have a lot of fun here and there's just it's so beautiful and it's such a beautiful day so yes yeah. yeah so i will show you guys some footage of the hummingbirds and i hope that you'll go over and check out our cooking cronies channel that will be in the description again and uh, thanks diana for oh, coming over here thanks to for this. inviting me yeah <laughs> so we will see you guys on the next video be happy safe. independence day happy independence